Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. We are going to do um, uh, Raz's brain now. Well, the we, second part of going to the Raz's brain. We finally managed to get our handy dandy cobweb duster. Yep. Um, and what else did we pick up? Oh, we picked up a new Powell, too. Oh, yes. Because we uh, ranked up, we unlocked a new Powell uh, levitation, which I don't think there's oh, no. anything in here. Telekinesis. Telekinesis, sorry. Impressive. Oh. Now yes. release. I guess there is something in here you can actually can't use it on. Get a good, can't get a good grip. Anything you can highlight, you can use most of your powers on. Impressive. Like that. Okay. Now release. Wait, can you set him on file? Um. I'm sure you could find a more productive use for that. You can try, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> you can burn you the garbage in his lab, though. <laughs> All right, we'll hop into your brain. Okay, time to face my big diving helmet spitting personal demons. That's the spirit. Diving helmet. Well, if you remember the last time we were our brain, uh, Nine extracted us because this big black cloud came over and spat something at us. Okay. It was a diving helmet. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's funny that they let you actually jump off the edge like that. Is that your brain? Yes, the brain tumbler experiment. You're very pink and... And fluffy looking. That's because this is an experiment with the brain tumbler. It's not supposed to be our actual head. Oh, okay. Your brain so far looks like a, a swamp. And you have a bunny. Why is there a bunny? We're supposed to follow the bunny. It's our brain guide. <laughs> Do they explain that later on? Well, they tell you that uh, earlier. They informed us that. There's meat there. What does that meat do? Oh, it's just meat. You don't seem to have a very organized brain. See, there's some meat right there, too. Okay, so... So far, the theme's all meat and... There's meat. Um... And a... Swamp. Swampy meat. That's what you have on the brain. It's a little bit weird. And bunny rabbit. But I don't know if that's part of the theme or if Little that's skull just... mushrooms. Oh. <laughs> Eat. Oh, there's the monster. That guy looks cool. The like um, visual effects on him look pretty cool. Wait, what? That was it? He wasn't a very big scary monster. Don't tell me I imagine that whole thing. He managed to pick up another level. Oh, another brain or whatever it's called. Is that ball boil? So this is supposed to be it's oh it's some like kind of bushes. vine or something that stops you on your way. It's interesting how that actually ha lights up the environment. Your double jump. You are my yeah. Creation. I command you to stop. Dang. But that's it's not where you will. The game forced you back down there. What's up on top? I'll have to go back this way. Oh, it's some baggage. See? Yes, so we picked up the tag for earlier. Yeah. Look back where you came from. I was done with a little cutscene. And like, look up. There's something in the sky. Oh, maybe you can't see it. Yeah, look at that smoke. No, no, no. Down a little bit. See the green smoke? So it's just like indicating where you. You got no, it's uh, uh, a geyser of sorts. Huh. It's interesting. There is something up there, too, uh, too like some kind of building. 
I'm assuming you will end up going to it. That was a three for one. I think I got all of them. Yeah. Honestly, the, the little basic like melee guys don't seem to be that big of a problem. And then the midgets. I don't like the moving figments. It reminds me of Nightmare Before Christmas. The, the whole style of this. Why don't you like the, the little guys? Oh, well, there's the normal ones and there's one slightly smaller than them that's warm. Oh, I mean they got a they've got a swarm. They're not going to be much of a threat without doing that. Oh, the bunny wants you to go up there. Huh? I know it does. I was trying to get that rogue figment. Well, now that we have like all the the gear that you need, we don't really even need the figments. Well, they help rank up powers and get us new powers. Oh, okay. By ranking up. But you can never have too much power. <laughs> I think that's uh that's that's not true. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of people that have too much power in America. But uh this isn't a, a video of Joey in it, so we don't get political. <laughs> <laughs> This isn't the way the bunny went. Nope. Is it? Okay. I saw a platform though. Yeah, no, I just was confused because I hadn't seen the bunny for a little bit. Oh, there's some cobweb. You can show yep. how the, the cobweb thing, the cobweb duster or whatever it's called, yep. works. Cobweb duster. The physical object we take with us into our brain. <laughs> It's, you know you own it, so you mentally... I don't know. It doesn't make sense, you're so. right. That <laughs> looked really weird. So, you, so you, you basically you aim at whatever you want, and then uh, then you hit the... Oh, and it like grabs it? Yeah. I, I was totally expecting it to be like a vacuum cleaner, not that. Hands that grab it and twirl it up. Yeah. Man, it's a lot easier to rank up in a level than it is yes. um, just out in the, the regular ward. Ah, grabby things. Yeah, and the time that it's taken us to get to... Ah, another grabby thing. Uh, those two ranks, we probably, like, barely even got a fourth of a rank when we were in the Alpha ward. Yeah, very Tim Burton esque. Yes, it is a very Tim Burton feel to it. I think the the style of the game in general is kind of that way. The like distorted. Um, no, you get back here. The like yes. distorted uh, f shapes of all the people and stuff. Yeah, and the environment too. What does that say? What does that say? Oblong. Okay. What is that? Another piece of meat. Man, this person... It's rotten meat. This, this, this kid has a really weird brain. <laughs> Little boy, I am sorry to say that you have a very serious mental problem. The trouble originates in this area, here.
the area that we in the medical profession like to refer to as the brain. You see, son, <laughs> it's just no good. I hate to be so blunt, but wait. You have the insanity. This isn't. Have amenity. I know. People are always saying that. What do you think's wrong with my brain, doctor? How should I know? I'm a dentist. But here's what I do know. If a tooth is bad, you pull it. But my teeth are fine. Yep, mad brain's got to come out, boy. It's the quickest way to cure what you've got. Insanity of the mind. But I don't want to. I don't think there's a different type of insanity. Now hold still. <laughs> this will only hurt until your brain I've got insanity out. of the foot. I don't know what it does. Don't worry, Dogen. I'm coming up there to Why save you. Why is he what and is your brain? You? No time to explain, Sasha. I gotta climb this spooky thorn tower. Got it. Is he... Is he not real? Do you want to be that much of a... Uh, a big hero that you're you're making up people that need to be rescued. <laughs> There's no way to get any higher. You must use your levitation power. I don't know how to levitate. I was gonna say I, I don't think we know I how to no levitate. Idea you are at such a remedial level. Hey. Lucky for you, we have one of the world's foremost levitators on staff. Agent Mia Vodello, the mental minx. Precisely. You'll need this oarsman's badge to reach her at the docks. I'll try to determine where this interference is coming from. Return when you've earned so, your levitation merit badge. What it actually is, is, um, that's not straight his brain. The machine is picking up interference, so it's crossing his brainwave thoughts and people. patterns with something else. Okay. Which is why everything is... Okay, so this is, this machine isn't the normal way for them to get into people's brains. It, no, it, normally it's some... a little door they slap on. Why does... what did Sasha make this machine to do? Did he explain? It's an experiment. Yeah, but you don't just randomly experiment. You don't just be like, I'm going to pick up the stick and then I'll pick up a... Well, you, you, you don't randomly cause uh, things to burst into flames either, so... <laughs> <laughs> and bears don't just randomly float up out of nowhere and grab you with uh, an invisible orange hand. So he had no, like, plan when he started this experiment? He just was like, I'm gonna put these things together and see what it does. Exactly. Like all great scientists. <laughs> that is very, uh, warped, uh, science, I guess. This is in a world with psychic bears. So do we have to go... Uh, do we have to go into the whatever her name's brain is? Yeah, we have to go find her at the docks. And she does. I'm assuming she, uh, it's going to be like Nine's brain, where we do like a whole level to get the, the yes. levitation. All right. Well, we'll see you guys next time do you for. Want to that James, you know, when well, boyfriend James. for what's her name? Funny, he said. No. Mia. He Mia. Said I believe. We'll, we'll oh, see you guys hey, next time for Mia's brain me, then. And she's all head up about a monster she thinks she saw in the wood. Subscribe to see more videos. A special thank you to David Farrell for his support. And if you too would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon.